Welcome back guys, it's the Tightwad and I'm at a coworker's house today and they have an issue where their fan works but their lights don't. These are Hunter brand fans and they're notorious for having a wattage regulator inside that goes bad that's right under this cap. And I'm thinking that's what the issue is. It, it could either happen when you put higher wattage bulbs in and it blows the regulator or it just stops working because it doesn't allow the bulbs to light. Another symptom of this for them not just, just not working is that they'll flash on and off. So I'm gonna show you today how to work around that. And I'm gonna start by cutting off the power and I'm gonna do that at the light switch and at the breaker box. The first step is to open the fixture so that you can see the wiring. And these typically have three screws around the top. And with the light down, you can pull out some of these wires. And on this particular unit, this is the wattage regulator. It is a government required piece that's in here. The way you can determine if this is your issue or not is you can find the wiring that is for the lights by tracing one of the black and white wires from the lights and you can see they come to these two wire nuts right here and then from the wire nuts i have the four black wires that go to each of the lights and then this red wire comes out and that red wire is coming into this wattage regulator if i take my multimeter here and i'm going to disconnect this clip that's going into that wattage regulator and if I put one in each side, I should see power. Let me flip the switch back on. And you'll see that I have power here. It lights up to 120. But whenever I come to the bottom of the regulator and measure from the common and the hot, I get nothing. So like I said before, these Regulators are a government regulation that they're required to put these on, but they're not absolutely necessary. As long as you don't overload the circuit with higher wattage bulbs, it will be totally fine. So I'm going to cut out this regulator by cutting the white or common wire here and the red wire here. And then this other small black set of wires here one is going to the switch and the other is going through the regulator. And this one actually comes in, out black from the switch, black to the regulator, and then red to the power for the lights. So we need to remove this black one and this red one. So first I'm just going to undo these wire nuts. The one on the black cluster with the red, the one on the white cluster, and then the small one here with just the two black wires. If you liked the video so far, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to pull the white one out, pull the red one out, and then the black one off of here. All right, so I have my black wire here from the switch, and I'm going to take it straight into the black cluster of wires. I should have four wires together already, one from four black wires, one from each light. And I'm going to take the switch wire and twist it straight into that. So there's no stripping needed on the black. And then tighten your wire nut down. And then here we have the white common coming out into the box. Then I'm just going to cut and then strip. So this is free. This is the black wire from the switch. The red wire coming from this from the regulator into the black wires for the lights. And then this was the common coming out of there. So I need to strip the white wire. And now the white wire can be joined with the four white wires coming from the lights themselves. And now I'm gonna take my wire nut and twist it on again, righty tighty. After you've done that, you should pull on each of the wires to make sure none of them pulls out freely. And we have this last wire nut left over that that's completely fine this was from the switch that was going into the regulator 
So at this point, we're ready to test. So you can turn your power back on in the breaker box and then you can turn the power back on. Make sure if your head's up in the fan that you have the fan turned off before you do this. And we pull the chain and you can see our lights are now working. So this regulator was the issue. This was the problem in two of their bedrooms. Uh, they have three or four of these fans, uh, but only two of them have gone bad. Hopefully the other two last. Uh, I will see about ordering a new regulator to put back in. It's not absolutely necessary, but if they ever sell a home, you definitely want it um, everything put together the way it's supposed to be so that in case the new owner of the home brings in higher wattage bulbs, you don't want the potential for a fire to start. And now we're going to cut off the power and I'm going to uh, put this fixture back up. I hope you found this video helpful and it saved you a little bit of money because ceiling fans are definitely not cheap and I didn't want you to have to replace the whole thing. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I post lots of do-it-yourself style videos on this channel. Click any of the videos shown on the screen right now and they'll open right up on your device. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day.